Welcome to House C Production Gospel Blog Talk Radio. Ken and Jean Grady of Gospel Music Today, National Syndicated Television Program. Enjoy. This is Gospel Music Today. Now, here are the hosts of Gospel Music Today, Ken and Jean Grady. We are glad you could spend some time with us. We have Southern Gospel News coming up, some concert updates, and Jean has a featured group. All the way from Arkansas, it's Ozark Revival. From the National Quartet Convention, I will be talking to Caleb Howard on today's program. Also, the Hall Sisters will be with us, and you've been listening to some new music. A new CD by Jared Vanderslice. And you've been reading. I've been out reading the singing news. We were at a concert in Lowe's. Roseville, North Carolina, we heard our good friend Charlie Griffin sing, and we will have exclusive concert video on today's program. And just how far back are we going in the archives? We are going back to 2017 from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. We heard The Kinsman, and we will have exclusive video on today's program. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Let's get started. You are watching Gospel Music Today. The news is next. The Lefevre Quartet has released the first radio single featuring new members Jay Perrick, Will Lane, and Brian Elliott. Between the Prayer and the Answer was written by Janice Crow. The Old Pass have released I Got the Grace, He Gets the Glory as a single to radio. It's from their new album, What Love Does. Singer-songwriter Sherry Ann has released her second children's book, Quiet Wyatt is a Riot. The book is written for preschool and elementary age children. Classic Artist Records Quartet, the Pine Ridge Boys, have released a CD and DVD recording celebrating the group's 57th year of singing quartet music. Creekside Live was recorded in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Creekside Gospel Music Convention. That's a look at some of the happenings in the world of Southern Gospel. You can keep up with the latest Southern Gospel news by reading SGN Scoops Digital Magazine. Take a look at their website at sgnscoops.com. And you can find more Southern Gospel News at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. We have been on the road. Yes, we have. We've been over to Lowesville, North Carolina, and our friend Charlie Griffin was there, and he sang that night. I believe we have a clip. Yes, we do. Well, here's a song that talks about what we're going through today. Listen kind of close. You might recognize it. Like the ancient Roman Empire. This world is doomed to fall It's much too big a thing for mortal mind Take a look around us See the writing on the wall It's time we try to find a helping hand This world has never been In the awful shape it seen People scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through. The mighty roar of gunfire is now a local sound. Our city streets are filled with angry men. Law is now a mockery throughout our troubled land. And destruction seems to be the current trend. This world has never been in the awful shape it's seen. And people scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through. This world has never been in the awful shape it's in. And people scorn the things our leaders do. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through. It's time a prayer was spoken from the heart of every man. Jesus, take a hold and lead us through. 
Enjoy those Lowe'sville gospel concerts. Carol Cook is the man behind those programs, and uh, he does a great job. Yes, he does. And it was great to hear Charlie Griffin sing. We've known Charlie for a while. He has a long history in Southern gospel music, and he's the man behind Classic Artist Records, which features some of our other favorite people, uh, the Pine Ridge Boys, the Chordsman Quartet, and a lot of others. That's it was right. a great program. Yes, it was. Who has a birthday this week? Happy birthday to Adam Borden. Adam sings with the Old Time Preachers Quartet. His birthday is May 7. And we wish a happy birthday to all our Southern Gospel friends. We have more exclusive concert video coming up in today's program. But first, Gene has been listening to some new music. Keeping On is a new CD by Jared Vanderslice. It was produced by Jeff Collins and Donnie and Lisa Williamson. It opens with He Led Me Out and also has All My Hope Until the Storm Passes By. The background vocals on the CD were done by Jaylee Vanderslice, Ryan Bilby, Lisa Williamson, and Andy Carpenter. That's Keeping On by Jared Vanderslice. This is a concert update from Gospel Music Today. The Troy Burns family will sing at the Union Campground in Waco, Georgia on May 25. If you're looking for a concert near you, check the search engine at gospelgigs.com. And you can always use the links at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. Ozark Revival Quartet is passionate about the saving grace of Christ and feels led to honor him by using the talents he's given them to create a unique worship experience. They present the message of his saving grace through inspiring four-part harmony in traditional and modern gospel music. And they also share how God works in their lives through their personal testimony. From Arkansas, members of Ozark Revival are Andy Shook, tenor, Johnny Bowles, lead, Dave Strong Baritone and Jake McBride Bass. You can find out more about this week's feature group at OzarkRevivalQuartet.com. We have more exclusive concert video coming up from the Lowesville Gospel Concerts. Charlie Griffin sang that night, and that's up next on Gospel Music Today. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. You won't come on now. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Come on, church. Oh, call him up. I said, call him up. I said, tell him what you want. Why don't you call him up? I said, call him up. I said, tell him what you want. Come on and call him up. I said, call him up. I said, tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. I like this your His life is never busy. Tell him what you want. Well, his life is never busy. Tell him what you want. His life is never busy. Tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. If you need salvation, tell him what you want. If you need a healing, tell him what you want. If you need life's miracle, tell him what you want with. Call him up and tell him what you want. Come on, church, sing it with me. Oh, call him up. I said, call him up. I said, tell him what you want. Come on and call him up. I said, call him up. I said, tell him what you want. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
the whistle now. Call him up and tell him what you want. Coming up next on Gospel Music Today, Ken visits with Caleb Howard. Welcome back to Gospel Music Today. We were at the National Quartet Convention. We were backstage that day, and we met Caleb Howard. And that's up next on Gospel Music Today. We are backstage at the National Quartet Convention with me, Caleb Howard. And Caleb, welcome to Gospel Music Thank Today. Thank you for having me, Ken. Appreciate it so much. Honor to be here. You were in the Artist uh, Showcase today. You did a great job. That must be exciting. Yes, it is. Very good time to be down here at the Quartet Convention, be around all these wonderful artists. Such talent in here. It's hard to follow that type of talent, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Counted an honor to be able to be a part of it. You have a uh, new CD that's uh, on the way. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah, i got a new project coming out in the next week to two weeks. It'll be finalized here. Got a lot of new material on that, and I'm just excited about it. Excited to get some legs on that and get out here and spread the word and uh, minister, do what we all do for the kingdom of God. And I feel like a lot of those songs are going to touch a lot of people, a lot of churches, a lot of events, wherever it may be. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get that out. I really am. Any favorite songs? Several. There's a few older songs on there I'm going to redo, such as the old ones like Why Me, Lord, things like that, and a couple of uh, Jimmy Fortune's song called I Believe. I'm going to redo that one. But I've got an original song coming out on that called Never Alone. I love that song, uh, a very comforting song for people going through trials, tribulations, just a touching, touching words to that song. I'm excited about that one coming out. Yeah. How long have you been traveling and singing? I've been traveling, actually singing and preaching in the ministry uh, since uh, 2006, would be. So I've uh, hit various parts of the country. Uh, it's been amazing. The doors of God's opened throughout the years and hope for many, many more to come. Mm-hmm. Where's home for you? Hazard, Kentucky. All right. Yeah. Well, Caleb, uh, it's been great to talk to you. We're very glad you could be with us on Gospel Music yes, today. Sir. Honor. Thank you, Ken. I always watched your show. You've yeah. always been uh, such a, a great name in the gospel music, and I, I count it a privilege to get to stand here with you. Oh, thank you. I do. Thank you. In this month's Singing News magazine, the Golden Mike Spotlight is on Brian Crow. Brian is the network director and morning show host of The Life FM right here in upstate South Carolina. Brian talks about his earliest musical influences and his most interesting interview. You can find a link to Singing News at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. This is a concert update from Gospel Music Today. Molded Clay Quartet and Dennis Cook will sing at the Lowesville Gospel Concerts on May 30 at 6 p.m. You can find all the details at the Gospel Music Today website. Faithful, anybody here who knows he's able. 